Thanks everybody for coming. Uh, I think everyone in this room is here for a pretty solid, um, solid reason from, from friends to colleagues to everyone. So um, it, we wanted to thank everybody. Uh, we've done this before at our other milestones, but I think this one with the last few years of adversity and so on, it's kind of made everyone a bit stronger and so forth. And there's opportunities now to get out and celebrate. So that's what this is about, a bit of a celebration. We've chosen to go down a bit of a technology path here like we do in our business now and it becomes a bit interactive. Um, happy to chat to everyone a bit later, but everyone knows in this room I can ramble a bit. So we've kind of chosen to shorten that, get some professionals in on board and sort of create this uh, media journey, I guess, or a, or a documentary in some respects of our, of our time. I'm Bridget and welcome to 21 Light Street, Fortitude Valley. The very first time I met Sean, in fact, he had just started BASE um, and I think that we were in fact his very first job at our medical practice called Soji at South Bank. So um, he did this amazing medical fit out for us there. Um, very innovative and very, it's very different for a medical fit out. And uh, we became friends, I, you know, I think pretty much straight away. There was a little old heritage listed house right here on this block. And so um, we spoke to Sean and he, you know, just always seemed to know someone in the right department. So he knew a fellow who worked for the Heritage Council and, and he came up with a, a tentative drawing that was extraordinary. Um, it pretty much ended up being the drawing that we used. So just quickly flip something together and send it off to this fellow to say, do you think this would be appropriate? You know, do you think the Heritage Council would be, would be into this? And we got a resounding yes. So um, we then started this project for Light Street. And the brief was, you know, we just want something to bring this beautiful old 1895 house um, into the future, essentially to sort of, to cement it for the next hundred years. So we've been here in the valley for um, you know, 19 years, which is amazing. We've lived anywhere for 19 years, and we love it. It's it's the valley's grown up around us now, um, but we've been in this house for about 10 years now, and it still feels as good as it did when we when we moved in. Trying to imagine how I would uh, deliver a speech face to face uh, comes unstuck a little bit because you do get off on tangents. So the ability in this case to try to capture digitally and the ability to kind of stitch it all together in a comprehensive manner um, certainly, uh, I guess, gelled with the idea of how we can get this message across. And then I guess, what is that message? Uh, in some respects, it's um, a bit of a showcase of, of, I guess, what we've done and what we can do and who we work with. This is from a, um, a clientele perspective and colleagues and so forth. But I think as well, I think that the difference or, the, or one of the biggest strengths of ours that we work on um, in-house in particular is it, if, if those, um, I guess, relationships that we have, and when I say in-house, I mean in our office and with the people that um, we've had I guess over the 15, 16 odd years has built um, base to what it is and um, people are going well what is base and so we're always sort of I guess redefining that whether it's from a marketing strategy whether it's a, a direction of where your architecture gets pulled and or learning about leadership and kind of how to um, nurture uh, projects and or staff and the people that I guess go together to make all of that kind of happen. Hi, I'm Carly. Hey, I'm Rob and welcome to our home, uh, number 23 Key Street. Michael Jordan's home, LeBron James' home, I guess our home too. Welcome, come on in. Sean and Sarah sort of came to our place and I don't want to say it's love at first sight, but 
you know, there was just definitely, there was chemistry, there was sparks, there was romance. It was just, we just knew straight away, these are the guys that we want to work with. They're very approachable. Um, time is, all, they're always available to, to meet. And I guess for me, visually. Do you reckon um, they're sick of us yet? <laughs> no. Maybe. Hey, cool. I liked, um, for me, the 3D imaging was really important. Um, Rob thinks he's cool because he gets the 2D stuff, but um, yeah, for me, having that oh, 3D imagery, you know, being able to fly through the house and and just when we're talking about options and changes, but actually seeing that yeah. um, was Happy. amazing. Happy 16th anniversary, Base Architecture. Happy 16th, sweet candles, never been kissed to Base Architecture. Here's to, to many, many more many years. More. Oh, oh see? <laughs> no, you're leaving that one. Hi, I'm Terry. Welcome to Point Siana Rise, 159 Payne Road, The Gap. Come on in and we'll show you around. So we came across Sean and the base team a number of years ago when we initiated this project. Sean's a local Gap person. Catherine and I are local Gap people and have been for a number of years. So we were looking for a project where we could downsize people from the Gap into alternative accommodation, which really wasn't available for them at the time. For me, design is really about listening, design, then revision, and then review and coming up with a final product. And that's what the base team has been so good at. We've got a project now which is 100% unoccupied, um, so on completion, on time, project managed through, through by Sean and his team as well. Um, so yeah, we're, we're very happy with the outcome. So another project we're currently working on with Sean and the team is, is in Taringa, it's uh, San Fran and Swan. It's coming to the market soon and we're looking forward to launching it in the very near future. So happy 16th birthday to Sean and the team at BASE and here's to many more. Architecture is a very dynamic and kind of, uh, in some respects, odd industry and in that it's always changing and I think that's what we really like about it is that every day you come in and there's new challenges there's different fires to put out and different things to create um, and it's all of those that collectively you, you sort of um, try to conquer at the same time and inadvertently whilst you're doing that and if it's genuine and it's from the same from, from the right spot I guess um, it works itself out and I think you can lead that sometimes and then you can be guided by that other times and you can follow other times and it doesn't matter uh, whether the hierarchy of our office or the people that we have in the office where, where that sits, everyone's got a voice. Hi, my name's Scott. Welcome to 785 Trees Road, Talabudra. Um, as you can see, we're uh, on the way to having a house. Um, we are off grid here and we're in this unique environment. I'm happy to show you around. The moment we sat down with Sean, we had, I think it was about 20 minutes. Um, I think his enthusiasm just for our ideas was really obvious and it was something that for us it I think it excited us more about our own project. Rachel just kind of took us under her wing um, and she guided us every step of the way. She listened to things that we didn't realise she was listening to when we would have conversations. That was a big thing for me that's come out is that she has picked up things that I'd forgotten I'd said and you can see it now in the design. 
base and their team actually came here and, and camped. I think they probably camped right here and there was a clearing up there where you can camp. But they came here just to experience the place because uh, it is um, an experience to be here. They've given us more than what we could have asked for. So um, for that we're eternally grateful to them. Happy 16th birthday to Base Architecture and here's to many more. You know, sometimes when uh, you used to be able to, as a kid, kind of, um, before mobile phones and everything, you jump on your bike and ride around the corner and just knock on the door. And you just, um, you just want to, um, like, interact, whether it's to go for a bike ride or whatever. And I, I get that feeling sometimes with some clients who drop in. I'm not saying they want to go for a BMX ride, but it's nice if you've got time and you can you can accommodate that. And most of the times, if the energy's there, um, that you can entertain that five, ten minute sit down because they want to get something off their chest or they want to show you an image or hey, I've seen this or I really liked what you sent through last night and I've scribbled out here some ideas. And it's, it's, it's that, um, I wouldn't say moment, but it's those things that go, oh, look, you know, you might be flat chat, but they've come in, they've spent the time to do that. You know they're only going to be here for a few minutes and you sit down and you can hear them and they can hear you and you go off and you walk around, you turn away and you go, I reckon I've just made ground that I probably wouldn't have made ground for two more weeks, but I think we've just nailed something there that was pretty, you know, pointed and important to the to that um, to that client and the project and the process. Hi, I'm Deanne and this is Rob. And welcome to our home at 71 Robe Street. We did talk to other architects in the area, but in comparison, we, we went with BASE because uh, we felt more comfortable with Sean. We felt that he was prepared to listen to the sorts of things that, and the features that we want to, but would still give us some honesty. The, the alternative that we were considering was, was much stricter and, and didn't seem to want to work like that with us at all. So we, we felt comfortable with Sean and with BASE right from the start. And his enthusiasm. And his enthusiasm for the project as well. And that little bit of funky, remember? Yeah, we liked funky. A little though. bit of funky. Funky was good. Yeah. We had a house in Townsville that was the mid-century, um, but we also liked the traditional character of this as well. So we wanted to be respectful of the, of the heritage character of the property from the outside, but we still wanted to give it a bit of a contemporary touch. When you see the, the master bedroom, it has an amazing feature window that looks straight at the city view, which is obviously one of the features of the property. Um, one of the things that when we looked at it, the, the base guys just changed the orientation of that window slightly so that the axis of the, the window points directly at the view. Um, that's an example of the sorts of things we would never have thought of to do if we'd done the renovation and the plans ourselves working with a draftsman rather than with an architect. Happy 16th birthday to everyone at Base Architecture and, and here's, here's to, to many more. <laughs> We, we wanted to do a, a beach house and uh, we couldn't find the right spot and happened upon a block down at Hastings Point um, in northern New South Wales which you know was such a wonderful place. I'd actually spent my childhood at Bokengar or Cabarita Beach when there was nothing there but fields and sand mining. <laughs> 
As best we could, we wanted to keep all of these amazing big trees and we asked Sean to design a, a tree house for us. And, and he did, so keeping all of these big trees as they were, he managed to build a house around the trees and it's, it's just fantastic. It's been a wonderful retreat for us. We didn't know that we would enjoy going to a, a house every weekend or every couple of weekends and yet we just love it now. So yeah, we've got this, you know, very much two fabulous base houses that we're very proud of and um, very different from each other but, but amazing nonetheless. So happy 16th birthday to base architecture and here's to many more. As a final acknowledgement, I think this night uh, this has taken a lot of effort from a lot of people. Um, and I think, I think you probably all know who you are. I'm not going to try and single everybody out, but it, it takes a lot of effort to get this done. We tried to do it at our, or we did it at our tents, and it just absorbed too much time. So this year we went, let's get, let's get the professionals to do it. Um, that's where we've ended, and I thank you all for that.